Woodsman's Institute, named Scott Fromey. Today we had a, well last night we had a little bit of snow out here, so I decided to head on over to the cabin and spend a little time at the cabin. We'll do a little bit of walking around and, and checking some things out as far as uh, whatever's out there just enjoying the snow, really. Wind's blowing pretty good. I can uh, probably hear it in the mic anyways. hope it's not interfering too much. But uh, I'll show you here, this is a little sassafras grove of little saplings. And uh, I think what sounds good to me is to make a little bit of sassafras tea. So in this little grove here, I'm going to search for a little sapling and dig up the root of it and make some tea. You can use uh, roots off of bigger trees, you know, if you want to and dig them up. These are kind of on a bank here. It would be easy to get to probably. But uh, we'll just go ahead and get in there and dig out a piece of root. Take it on back to the base camp, the cabin there. Make some tea. Okay, in order to make a sassafras tea, sassafras tea is made from the root of a sassafras tree. So what I did is I pulled this little sapling out and you can kind of see where the root was kind of attached to that in here and I just tore, tore off a piece of the root and, and got this part already washed up and cleaned up. And I just want to show you, you know, like as far as sassafras goes, sassafras is not only can you make tea out of it, but it, the tree itself is, is fairly useful. A lot of a lot of people use it for fence posts because it takes uh, several years for it to rot. So what you know, the, the trunk is used for uh, uh, fence posts. Uh, you, I've heard of them making bows out of uh, sassafras. The twigs um, are really good for in a survival situation because the ends of them are are they'll they'll burn even when they're green. So you can and they're very easy to get a fire started. If you look at one of my videos on building a fire. I use sassafras, so I kind of kind of like using sassafras. It's a lot easier, and it's plentiful around here, so it's a good survival tidbit to kind of know what the different uses of uh, sassafras are. So, with that, I get some fire or some water boiling, and then I get this root all cleaned up and ready to go. Okay, after I got the fire going and got me some uh, a pot of water going. Um, I took the root and cleaned it, and then I actually bruised it up a little bit, or kind of smashed it a little bit to release a lot of the oils that are in the, in the root itself. And that's the part that's going to leach out and make the tea. So as soon as that gets, water gets to be boiling pretty good, we'll drop it in there. Okay, our water's going at a pretty good boil. I'll go ahead and take the lid off. You can see it's rolling pretty good. I'll go ahead and drop those pieces of bark, I mean pieces of the root down in there and then let that steep in there for about 10-15 minutes at a boil and then I'll take it off to, to let it chill. Okay what I got here is I got the sassafras tea and it's cooled off quite a bit so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pour it in a in a jar I got out of the cabin just to show you it's kind of a, got a red color to it. I'm going to put the lid back and I'm going to use that to kind of keep the, keep the root pieces of the root in there. Let's see if I can. There you have it. Sassafras tea. Okay, well I hope you learned a little bit about how to make sassafras tea. Um, you can probably add a little bit more water into it, make it a little thinner. Depends on what how how stout you want it. But uh, I think what I'm going to do with this is warm it back up a little bit and drink it hot. So uh, with that catch you later.